Hey, my name is Tony Mayo. I live in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. I've traveled 95 countries around the world and I study endangered human cultures. I've done a lot of original research, uh, documented through videos, slides, tape recordings, photographs, sketches. This is the way that I work. Um, I actually never took any courses in sculpture. Um, it just sort of started to happen and I really enjoy it. I like stone, the work in stone the most. I like to look at a sculpture, but I'm not a real big one to go to art shows or things like that. And I mean, I know I am affected by other people and, and different styles and things that are around me. I know that, that that affects the way that I work, but I like to keep my mind in sculpture particularly, I like to keep it just unique. Usually I push materials, I like to push it to their limit. Like normally I would make this tail much, much thinner. I would make it as thin as I could. But you can't do that for a piece that's going to go traveling all over the world, it's going to break. And I also, I should mention too that everything is finished on all my, I don't care what it is in my artwork, like even, even a painting, the back of the canvas I'll cut even and paint around the side of the canvas, not just the top. And what, whatever I'm doing, every aspect is finished absolute to the finest that I personally can do, whether you'll see it or not. I can do a sculpture and it, maybe, maybe no one will ever see the base, but that base is finished beautifully. I might do a sculpture normally, uh, often I'll go down inside the mouth, underneath the tongue, underneath the eyelids on this, it will be polished, even if you can't see it. So my motivation, my ideas come, um, I think they come from God. I just get these ideas and I, and I do them. And that's also what keeps me going. I've been to 95 countries now around the world and I've collected all kinds of exotic bones and teeth and woods and shells and stuff. And they're very, they're valuable materials. A lot of people don't fully appreciate the significance of art. It just seems so, it's just there. They don't realize that an artist designed that can of soup can and that's why when they walk down the aisle they buy that particular product because of the colors and the shape and the design and so forth. Art is very important, I think.